Look around you. How many plastic bottles do you see? Maybe one on your desk, in your car, or in the trash can nearby. Now, what if I told you that some of those bottles don't just disappear, but come back as the clothes you wear? Sounds like a great idea, right? Recycling plastic into fabric? Saving the planet while looking stylish? But here's the problem. This process isn't as green as it sounds. Sure, companies claim they're helping reduce waste by turning bottles into clothing. But what they don't tell you is that this process involves toxic chemicals, massive pollution, and serious health risks. Not just for the workers, but for you too. Millions of plastic bottles are collected, melted, and spun into synthetic fibers. These fibers are used to make everything from t-shirts to yoga pants. But once these clothes are made, they never truly go away. Every time you wash them, tiny plastic particles called microplastics break off and end up in the water we drink and in the food we eat. So is recycling plastic into clothing really helping the planet? Or is it just another marketing trick? Trust me, what you're about to learn might make you think twice about that eco-friendly t-shirt. Let's start at the very beginning. Where does all this plastic come from? The answer is simple, trash. Every single day, people throw away millions of plastic bottles. Water bottles, soda bottles, juice bottles. They pile up in landfills, float in our oceans, and clog city streets. Plastic waste is everywhere, and since plastic takes hundreds of years to break down, it's a problem that just keeps growing. To deal with this mess, companies collect these used bottles and promise to give them a new life. They call it recycling, but in reality, it's more like a chemical transformation. Here's how it works. First, huge recycling centers gather plastic waste from cities, schools, offices, anywhere people throw it away. The bottles are then sorted, because not all plastic is the same. Some types can be turned into clothing, while others are too contaminated or low quality to be reused. Once sorted, the bottles go through an industrial washing process. This isn't just a quick rinse under the tap. These bottles are scrubbed using strong chemicals to remove dirt, labels, and glue. That chemical-filled water, a lot of it gets dumped right back into the environment, polluting rivers and harming wildlife. After cleaning, the bottles are shredded into tiny plastic flakes. These flakes are dried and packed into giant sacks, ready to be melted down and spun into fabric. Now, at this point, it might still sound like a smart idea. Plastic waste is being reused instead of sitting in landfills, right? But this is where things get tricky. Turning these flakes into clothing is not a simple, clean process. It involves extreme heat, heavy machinery, and chemicals that can be harmful to both the environment and the people making them. So how do we go from tiny plastic flakes to fabric? And what's the real cost of this transformation? Let's take a closer look at the production process. The plastic flakes are first melted down at extremely high temperatures until they turn into a thick, sticky liquid. Imagine heating up a plastic bottle in your oven. Not a good idea, right? The fumes would be toxic. Well, in these factories, huge amounts of plastic are melted at once, and the air is filled with harmful chemicals. Workers are exposed to these fumes every day, often without proper protection. Once the plastic is melted, it's forced through tiny holes, creating thin plastic threads. These threads are stretched, cooled, and then spun into polyester fibers, the same kind of material used in most sportswear, jackets, and even bedding. At this point, you might be thinking, isn't this still better than letting plastic sit in landfills? In some ways, yes, but there's a catch. First, this entire process uses a huge amount of energy. Recycling plastic bottles into clothing requires intense heat, massive industrial machinery, and a lot of electricity meaning factories burn fossil fuels to keep production running. That's a lot of pollution just to turn old bottles into t-shirts. Second, the melted plastic isn't fabric yet. It has to be treated with even more chemicals. Softness, flexibility, durability, all of this comes from synthetic additives, many of which are toxic. Some of these chemicals stay trapped in the fabric and some can be absorbed by your skin when you wear them. So now we have plastic-based fabric. But what happens when you actually wear and wash these clothes? This is where things get even worse. Clothing made from recycled plastic bottles might sound eco-friendly, but the truth is, it creates an entirely new problem. Microplastic pollution. Every time you wash clothes made from synthetic materials, tiny plastic fibers called microplastics break off and flow into the water system. These fibers are too small to be filtered out, so they end up in rivers, oceans, and even drinking water. Here's the scary part. 
scientists have found microplastics inside human bodies. Studies show that people are consuming thousands of plastic particles every year through food and water. No one knows exactly what this does to our health yet, but experts warn that these tiny plastics could be linked to hormone disruption, immune system problems, and even long-term diseases. And it doesn't stop there. Most of these plastic-based clothes are not biodegradable. That means when they wear out and get thrown away, they still won't break down. They'll just add to the world's growing plastic pollution crisis. And we haven't even talked about the workers making these clothes yet. Their situation, even worse. If you think this process is bad for the environment, imagine what it's like for the people working in these factories. Most of these recycling and textile factories are located in developing countries, where safety regulations are weak and labor is cheap. Workers often spend long hours, sometimes 12 to 16 hours a day, in the poorly ventilated factories, breathing in fumes from melted plastic and chemical treatments. Many of them work without proper protective gear. No masks, no gloves, just bare hands and lungs exposed to toxic substances. Over time, exposure to these chemicals can lead to serious health problems, including breathing disorders, skin irritation, and even long-term diseases. And then there's the pay. Most workers earn shockingly low wages, sometimes just a few dollars a day, barely enough to survive. They take these jobs because they have no other choice, even though they know the conditions are dangerous. Some factories even hire underage workers. Children as young as 12 or 13 have been found working in textile factories, handling harmful chemicals, and working exhausting shifts just to help support their families. So while brands promote their eco-friendly recycled clothing, the people making these clothes are often suffering in terrible conditions. At this point, you might be wondering, if making clothes from plastic bottles is so harmful, why do companies keep doing it? The answer to that question, because it sells. Brands use the word sustainable like a magic trick. They put green labels on their clothing, talk about saving the planet and make you feel like you're helping just by buying their products. But in reality, most of it is just marketing, also known as greenwashing. Big brands know that consumers want eco-friendly options, so they push recycled plastic clothing as a solution. But they don't talk about the toxic chemicals, high energy use, or the fact that these clothes still create pollution. Before these plastic-based clothes hit store shelves, they go through quality checks. Workers inspect the fabric for strength, color, and texture. But here's the thing, even with quality control, these clothes often don't last long. Synthetic fabrics break down faster than natural ones. That means people end up throwing them away sooner, adding even more waste to the environment. And let's not forget the packaging. Most of these so-called eco-friendly clothes are wrapped in even more plastic before they're shipped to stores. The irony, recycling plastic into clothing is supposed to reduce waste, but it still creates more plastic trash. Once the clothes are packed, they're shipped across the world. On diesel-powered trucks, planes, and ships that burn fossil fuels and add to carbon emissions. A t-shirt made from a recycled plastic bottle might travel thousands of miles before reaching a store near you. At the end of the day, this isn't a real solution to plastic waste, it's just another way to sell more products. Turning plastic bottles into clothing sounds like a great idea, but the truth is much darker. From toxic chemicals to microplastic pollution to poor working conditions, this process is far from sustainable. Recycling is important, but not all recycling is good for the planet. Next time you see a brand promoting recycled plastic clothing, ask yourself, is this really helping or is it just another marketing trick? If you care about the truth behind eco-friendly fashion, share this with someone who should know. The more we understand, the better choices we can make.